rich young ruler. Luke chapter 18, starting at verse 18. I'll be reading down to verse 27. Amen. And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why cause me good? None is good save one, that is God. That thou knowest the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor thy mother and thy father. And he said, all these I have kept from my youth. Now when Jesus heard these things, he said, yet lackest thou one thing, sell all thou hast and distribute unto the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come follow me. And when he heard this, he was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. And when Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? For it is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And they that heard it said, Who then can be saved? And he said, The things which are impossible with men are possible with with God. Amen. Amen. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our Lord shall stand forever. I'll be using for a subject, what must I do to be saved? Hallelujah. What must I do to be saved? He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are what? Healed. What about that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved. What about neither is there salvation in the other? For there is none other name under heaven given amongst men whereby we must be what? Saved. Saved. Yes. Then that the name of Jesus yes. every knee shall bow every. of things in heaven, yes, sir. of things in earth, yes, sir. of things under the earth, yes. that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Yes. How many know there is no unbelievers in heaven? Yes. There is none unbelievers in hell. Yes. The only unbelievers right now are on earth. Yes. Because those who have ascended and those who have descended know that no other name, no other name. given unto heaven which men must be saved. saved. Yes. How many know Muhammad can't do it? Come on, sir. How many Buddha can't do it? Can't do it. How many know you are an unbeliever? I'm agnostic. Yes, or I'm an atheist. How many know that can't do it? Yes. You need yes. the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah, somebody. We need the name of Jesus. Yes. I heard a preacher say the other day. We think about the rich young ruler. Yes. And we think about the rich folks in our land, the Jeff Bezos, the Bill Gates, the, um, uh, the guy who owns Tesla. We think about all these rich folks, right? But he says, how many know if you live in this country, you are rich? So we looked around and who has multiple shoes to wear? Hallelujah, somebody. Who has multiple clothes to choose from? Who has food in your figure that you can choose to eat from? Who drove here today in a car? Hallelujah, somebody. Because there's some folks in these third world countries that walk miles barefooted and go to a church. There's some folks in these third world countries that eat one meal a day. Yet you and I, we have air conditioning. We have seated cushioned pews. We have fine clothes. We have joy. So when I stand before God, I'm a rich man. Come on, man. That's right, brother. I'm a rich man. 
because the lady standing beside me may be from some third world country on, who has one kneel, and now I got to fit through the eye of a kneel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You preach it, my God. Yes, I got to fit through the eye of a kneel. Yes, Lord. Because we're rich in this country. Yes. And we're rich. Yes, Lord. Because when we compare to folks are swimming through Atlantic Ocean and Pacific Ocean to get to this country yes. because this is the land that God has blessed. Yes. Yes. We are rich by any stretch of imagination. Yes. Right. Our poorest people are wealthier than some of these poor nations. Yes. They don't have social systems to keep them from going totally under. Yes. We are rich. We are rich. I'm taking that back. So think about when you stand before God, He's going to compare you to some of these folks who have to walk miles to go to church to worship the name of the Lord. And some of us can't turn on a virtual Bible and be on bedside bathroom. Come on, man of God. We got Wi Fi, and folks won't even tune in to hear what thus saith the Lord. Multiple yes. cars. Multiple yes. cars. Yes, sir. I don't got to walk 30 miles from my house to here to get to people. I get to drive in a car with air conditioning that has air conditioning on 90 degree days. Then I get to walk from an air conditioned car to an air conditioned sanctuary. I don't even have to break a sweat. And I can't worship the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. We are blessed and we are highly favored. But when I think about all that God has done in my life, I'm rich. I'm rich. Yes, Lord, I am rich. I am blessed. I am highly favored. And guess what? I ask God to give me more because if God can trust you with the little To trust you with the little you have, he will bless you with much more. Yes. So let's look at the events from this passage of scripture we read. All right. During this time, people ask Jesus many questions. But I think one of the most important questions ever asked was in verse 26. Who then can be saved? Who can be saved? It's a question we all need to consider. It is a question that can only be answered by the person who's answered it in here. Only Jesus can answer this question. Who can be saved? And he answers it throughout this entire passage. So let's see how Jesus answers this question. Who then can be saved? All right. The one who knows God's requirements. We saw that in verses 20 through 21. The rich young ruler knew God's law. He was religious. He knew the Ten Commandments. He was trying to live a good life. Yeah. How many know living a good life is not enough? No, not enough, my God. There's a lot of good folks who have broken the gates of hell That's because right. they thought they were living a good life. How many know it's not about a good life living? Yeah. Yes, we must live good. We must be holy. We must be righteous. But all have sinned. Yes. Yes. Well, I know some of us tuck our angel wings down inside of our church clothes because we're saints, right? We ain't never done nothing wrong. I don't know about you, but I've been born again all my life. I've been sanctified. Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized. I mean, well, the devil is alive. Yeah, hallelujah. Glory. The devil is alive. But he knew the Ten Commandments. Yes. He was trying to live a good life. He claimed to keep God's law. He thought by keeping God's law was a matter of external circumstances. Mm -hmm. Obeying God starts with what? The heart. Yes. Yes. The heart. The heart. The heart. The heart. Jesus wasn't saying this was not a way to be saved. He was trying to make the man aware of his sin. Keeping a list of do's and don'ts will not save you. You know what? Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Keeping a list of do's and don'ts will not save you. 
I know some Muslim brothers that have a strong list. Yeah. They hold to the Quran. But how I many know that won't save them? I know some folks out here, some, some monks that go to these mountaintops and they worship who they think will get them salvation. They're good people externally, but that will not save their soul. Keeping the Ten Commandments won't save us because how I many know you can't keep them? Take your time, brother. Come on. That's it. That's it. Hallelujah, somebody. You cannot keep them. Turn with me to Galatians 3.24. Galatians 3.24. Amen. Good people will be in hell. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ that we might be justified by what? Justified by what? Faith. Faith. The law of the schoolmaster pointing us to our sinful nature, but the law won't save you. The law can't save you. Say that again. The law cannot save you. Yes. That's like if I go to court and I break the law. Right. That's right. That's it. And I say, well, Your Honor, I'm sorry that I robbed that bank. I did rob a bank, man. But I'm using that as an example. Your Honor, I'm sorry that I robbed that bank. He'll say, it's good. But let me open up the book of law and see how I'm going to sentence you. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And the same judge that would have to sentence me to prison, God can still sentence us. Let me open up the book. Let me open up the book. Gabriel. There's Damon's name in the book of life. Uh-oh. Yes, it is. My Lord. My Lord. It's written right here. Hallelujah, somebody. My name is written in the book of life. Ah! 
I had to repent. You know what? Come on, man. I had to repent. Come on, man, God. And I'm looking at some stuff in there. I'm like, how many of us know we only wear a certain amount of stuff? Brother. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm sitting there like, look at all this stuff. I'm going to say this. We'll wait until next week. No, you're not. You're not. Yeah, you're, you're, not. you're right. I'm guilty. But it's had the deed is on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to repent. Yeah. Because somebody needs my old stuff with somebody that's somebody right. Treasure. That's yeah. right, man of God. And I took that stuff and I bagged it up. Yeah, be and I took it and donated it. That's right. Good stuff. That's right. Like my mother said, don't donate a suit from 1970 with lapels all head that you know you ain't going to wear. Come on, man yeah. of God. Don't donate them bell bottoms to that lady, the man. Right. They not gonna wear that. Right. Hallelujah, somebody. Tell the truth, man, God. It's your pride an obstacle. Come on, man, God. How I many know pride comes before fall? Oh. That's right. Pride has got Lucifer, now Satan, kicked out of heaven. And that same pride of life is gonna have many people going down to the gates of hell. God loves a humble spirit. Yes, he does. Now understand this. Meek don't mean weak. Hey, get out of here. I just preached that this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't on that. No, he was not. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Woo. My meekness don't mean weakness. Meekness don't mean weakness. Come on, man of God. Wow. Meekness means I have the power oh. to do some damage. Wow, wow brother. Wow. But because of the love. I'm gonna hold back. Come on, man. How I many know Jesus was meek? Whoa, yes. brother. But he was not weak. Come yeah. on, man of God. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. And we as Christians have to understand, how dare you? Come on. Open Olympic ceremony. Yes. That's it. You know what? And mock one of our ordinances. Come on. That's it. Drag queens up there. Did you see that? Oh my Mocking. Oh, it was horrible. Yes, come on, man of God. And many Christians, many Christians. are so quiet, no toast, speak, they won't speak to it. Nope. But they'll speak to you and tell you your God is a liar. And they're going to mock your God, so we're going to have a fake communion up here in front of the whole entire world. Yeah. Horrible. And I got pastor friends, I'm going to leave that alone. Don't leave it alone. No, no, no. not each other. That was disgusting. Disgusting. They mock us. Yeah. But how many know meek don't mean weak? That's it. Right. And this rich young ruler had an obstacle. It's time your obstacle. So the question I ask, who then can be saved? The one who lets nothing come between them and Jesus. The one who's willing to do what it takes to come to Jesus. The one who comes to Jesus now. The requirements Jesus laid out were impossible. Mark tells us the disciples asked this question. They were stumped. Who in the world can meet these requirements? I mean, no, salvation is only possible with God. Salvation is only possible with God. This is Jesus' point. Man cannot earn salvation. Man cannot buy salvation. Salvation is only possible by the grace of God. Amen. How many know God can save anyone? Amen. How many know God can save anyone? You are a living witness that if God can save you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. if God can save me, yeah. he can save anyone. Yeah. No one is too far from God's hand. No one is too far from God's hand. All you have to do is put your trust and your faith in Jesus Christ. That's right. The only people God has ever saved were sinners. Yes. Where my sinners at? Amen. I'm right here. Amen. Amen. I ain't tell you to confess which one. Right. <laughs> My heart might won't be able to handle it. Jesus. Oh. 
But we all are sinners. Yeah. Saved by grace. grace. The rich young ruler left Jesus sad and unsaved. But he did something we all have to do. Got to come to Jesus. And how many know when you come to Jesus, he won't turn you away. Jesus didn't turn away their rich young ruler. Their rich young ruler turned from Jesus. How many y'all thank God that when he provoked you yes, Lord. to salvation? Yes. So the question I ask when I'm done, who then can be saved? The one who comes to Jesus. And the one who puts their faith in Christ Jesus. How many of you are going to stand before God? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. How many of y'all truly believe that we're going to stand before God? Oh, yes. Yes. And how many of y'all don't want to stand before God on your own merits? Come on, man of God. You can fool me sometimes. Yeah. But you can't fool God no time. How many know God knows everything? Yes. I said it in Bible, he can see a black ant mm -hmm. on the black rock yes. in the blackness of night. Yes. There is nothing hidden from God. Wow. And one day, you have to live this life knowing you will stand before the king of the universe mm -hmm. and have to give an account. And they were some books. And you're going to open the book. Come on, brother. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. The Lamb Book of Life. Yes, Lord. He's going to open it. And yes. you stand there naked before God. Jesus, that's Lord. right. Jesus. Wide open. They're going to say one question. What did you do with my son? What did you do with Jesus? Like me, I can say, Brother David, I accepted him as my Lord and Savior. And I've lived my life with Jesus being on the throne of my heart. So you can look and say, your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. But woe to those who stand before God. But Lord, I am um, with the church. Yes, Lord. But but Lord, I am. Um, I sang on the choir. Lord, I preached your word. Lord, I was baptized. And he's gonna ask. Depart from me. Yes, Lord. You worker of iniquity. I never knew you. Never knew you. So today, the challenge that put forth is make him Lord and Savior of your life. Come on, sir. Make him Lord and Savior of your life. How many y'all can truly say today he's your Lord and Savior? Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. That he's your Lord and Savior. Give him a hand, please. Thank give him a Lord. hand, prayer. Praise the Lord for he is our Lord Hallelujah. and Savior. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, we thank you once again for this word. This reminder, what must I do to be saved? I ask you, Lord, right now, Lord, just to forgive us for our many sins and thought for our being. Forgive us, Lord, we all have come short of your glory. But we thank you, Lord, for paying the price. Jesus paid it all. And all to him I owe. Sin has cast a crimson stain, but he washed us white as snow. And we thank you, Lord, for washing us white as snow. We thank you, Lord, for saving us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for keeping us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for protecting us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for going before us and standing behind us and standing beside us, Lord. We thank you 
for the name, for the man named Jesus. King of kings. Come on, sir. Lord of lords. Yes, Lord. For at the name of Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Yes, Lord. And every tongue will confess yeah. that Jesus Christ is Lord. So let the words of our mouth. Yes, sir. The meditations of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. Our Lord, our strength, and our Redeemer. And let the Redeemer of the Lord say, Amen.